19 days after the eruption of Kilauea, lava is pouring into the Pacific Ocean with explosive results. You've got very, very hot lava coming into contact with the seawater, so you get flash boiling of the seawater. You get some, some chemistry going on, so you get things like hydrochloric acid being produced, which is partly from the chemicals in the lava, but also from the chemicals that you have in seawater. You get a fog or a haze, which include both tiny, tiny particles of volcanic glass and also droplets of acid materials from the seawater. This toxic fog, known as Lays, forces the Coast Guard to declare a safety zone a thousand feet out. But tourist boats draw ever closer, oblivious to the danger that the wind could change direction and send the deadly fog their way. And that's not the only peril. When lava hits cold water, it can explode into the air, scattering chunks of searing rock called lava bombs. A lava bomb is a chunk of lava uh, about this sort of size, and it's often sort of described as the bomb when it's been thrown out in some way from the volcanic activity. Increasing lava flows are now threatening evacuated homes in the nearby Leilani Estates. Local cameraman Demian Berrios is on hand to capture the action as it unfolds. We're standing there, standing on the road, watching these lobes of lava slowly start to cover the road, maybe five feet thick, 10 feet thick, and then you'd look behind and you would just see this huge wall, almost like a bulldozer, just coming down, smack, literally smashing the forest, flopping trees down on their side before it actually consumed them. All residents have been ordered to leave. One by one, people's dreams are devoured by rivers of fire. 